Hey guys, this is Adore from Bricks Maven. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can quickly convert, I would say convert, I mean structure, layout, this uh, landing page um, in Bricks using the Alpha Design Library from Bricks Maven. I'm just going to show you guys how we can quickly just lay out the sections. I'm not styling anything, just laying out the sections. I, could, I created a video where I um, recreated the core framework website. I'll be posting that later. Um, it's not the best of quality. I think the sound is not that good, but it shows you a little bit the process you would have to go through if you want to uh, use the design library and then uh, style it a little bit. So uh, it's quite a long video. I, I, I chopped it up in different uh, sections, so it's easy to watch. You watch whatever section you want. Uh, but for now, let's just run through this. Uh, let me just make this quick video. A minute's already spent, so let's get it going. First, we need a header. So I'm going to put in a header. I need one where the button is on the right. So, uh, so this is okay. This is good. We don't need to do anything else. Let's move on. So I will need to put in the. I need a hero section. So hero, and if this one is good, there we go. Let me edit image real quick. There we go. I think I need. I need to add a width. Here, let's see, width maybe 60 or something. And that's good. And yeah, I wasn't going to style anything, so let's proceed. Let's proceed, let's proceed. We need a like a auto staggering section. So and go to features, feature, and then we're going to put in. Mm, this one oh, I think I'm putting in the wrong template oh. I'm hitting wrong. okay so we need to put in the next template which is going to be the feature and then This one, yeah. Just need to add an image to it. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. So we have this. This is actually done. And then we need this kind of a structure. So move on to the next one that will be also from the features section uh, this one and then all we need to do is we need to delete this and we need to set this to center right and then on the second block I will need to do some CSS styling on it. So I will set this to zero. Matter of fact, I don't I don't need I actually don't need this code, but for now I'll just leave it be. And then I need to span this in over two rows. I need to uh, I was putting the span on the class so I need to put it on the ID on this one it's about to go crazy here so we have this and obviously you can you can just go in and well you can I think this is a this is a counter thing I put in here which you can take out if you don't want to do 
don't actually need this so you could just take this out and then yeah this will be removed as you can see and then you can just add whatever you want to add so this this, this section is done so let's go to the next that will be the call to action let's add in the call to action um, which one would be good I think this one is okay so we just have this we can obviously move this to the center this is a grid right now but we can we can change it to flex move it to the center make this absolute move it to the left side increase the padding whatever and this should be looking like this and the last one is the footer which we will grab from here I need something that's centered these two are centered and I will go for this let me see I'll go for this one not need I do not need I do not need this and I do not need what's going on I do not need this and this is a grid it's set to six so I will have to span this six rows span Six and then center this. No, wait. Center, no, center this. And then this one, I will also have to make it span. Okay, so we just span it six. And it goes down, so I'll span six. Just make sure everything is looking good. Oh, as you can see, everything is already automatically responsive right so everything is responsive yeah, yeah yeah and basically within like several minutes we've already laid out the page right and we can start styling and making it look more like this obviously that would, that would take some more time but at least we have our structure here obviously i'll need to rename some of this uh, rename the structure panel but we already have a good basis where we can start working off and uh, yeah I just want to show you guys how we can quickly just lay out a page and you can imagine if you had to build everything say put in the structures add the styling add the, add the classes it would take a long time to do this right and in a matter of minutes we can have the whole structure ready and it's scalable it's maintainable so you may ask what does that mean so basically because this is a class if you want to change the color here you just go to typography change the color and it's changed on every other instance that has the same class so basically it just makes your life easier and yeah just makes you yeah makes it easier to make changes yeah this is the one I just show you guys today uh, real quick I will be posting the video where I rebuild the core framework where I do add a structure and do the styling I uh, plan to make two videos where I first added the whole structure but <laughs> I just ended up adding the, every section and then immediately adding the styling and, and stuff uh, but you guys will see it anyways so that's just about it uh, let me know what you guys think of this video and I'll see you guys soon have a nice day and bye bye